What happens after an object is selected to be exhibited in the collection gallery? The process shown in this video is an overview of what goes into bringing an object from storage to display. First, a curator chooses an object to be included in an exhibition. A collections manager retrieves it from the vault and works with the curator to examine the object and confirm or adjust its cataloging information in the museum's collections database. Title, date, medium, dimensions, and any inscriptions on the object. A conservator thoroughly examines the object, documents its condition, and determines whether any conservation treatment is needed for its optimal preservation and safe display. This particular object has been treated in the past. It has been surface cleaned, the several tears and cracks have been mended or consolidated, and the worn corners have been reinforced. Hence, it is in physically stable condition and does not need any additional conservation treatment. However, it includes materials that are inherently unstable, which means that it will be exhibited in a low light level and the display time will be limited. Meanwhile, the curator gathers further research on the object and writes any text that is needed for the exhibition. Members of the communications team help to edit that text and design the label. For an object to be featured in video and other publicity materials, Research is necessary to identify the copyright status of the work and permission must be granted from the rights holder. This object happens to be in the public domain. Next, the object is taken to the photography studio to be photographed. Objects are placed on the copy stand and photographed under controlled lighting. The digital files will be used for a variety of purposes, including providing images for publication. The digital files are also uploaded to our collections online and stored in our digital asset management system. People from all over the world request to reproduce these images in their publications. Next, preparators create a custom mat and frame. The object is put into a sealed package inside the frame. The sealed package guards against environmental factors, such as changes in humidity, which can cause distortion and deterioration. It also protects the object from airborne pollutants, water damage, and pests. For larger works, a strainer is used to provide additional support in the frame. When it is time for installation, preparators carefully hang the work so that it is secure, level, and positioned correctly on the wall. A label containing identifying information about the object is added next to the work. By taking these steps, we ensure every object that will be on display is documented, protected, interpreted, and prepared for you to see in the gallery. 